What is going on guys, Dakota from D. Caldwell Photography and we're back again with another challenge video, finally. We have our awesome photographer today. Hetzel. And our awesome model. Adia. And we're gonna be shooting on Sony cameras. What are you working with today? I have here the Sony A7 III with the Sigma 35 1.2 and then the Sony HBL 60 Flash. Okay, I also have the A7 III with the Sony 35 F1.8. So we're gonna be shooting all with 35 millimeters today. We're gonna to be doing a uh, strobe versus speed light challenge. We'll get about six minutes or so with uh, the model today. Are you guys ready to go? I'm ready. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> So for those of you that are new to flash photography, a speed light is an on-camera flash that sits on the hot shoe mount slot on top of your camera. A speed light emits a short burst of light used to illuminate your subject. Most speed lights have a tilting head that allows for the light to bounce off of a surface for an even softer effect. This is called bounce flash photography. As you can see, Hetzel has her flash pointing 90 degrees upward, which is referred to as ceiling bounce. During the ceiling bounce, the light source comes from above, resulting in the shadows appearing below the subject. Hetzel also has a bounce adapter equipped to her speed light. When you equip a bounce adapter to your flash head, it softens the light even more so that it evens the lighting on your subject's face. It can also help soften or eliminate shadows on the subject as well. Alrighty, that's enough for speed lights. Let's get back to the video. Okay, now I'm gonna do some full body shots. So I'm gonna have, yeah, kind of an angle. I like the dress poop. And then let me see. I'm gonna shoot from right here. There you go. Perfect. Oh, could you help me down so I can flare it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Awesome. Yep, I got it. Let me do one more now just to make sure. Ready? Perfect. Good. 
one at a time. Got it. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Okay. Um. I'm a little nervous. You were in shock, <laughs> man. Jesus Christ. Like the instructions are just so on point. Alrighty, so that was a pretty, a pretty hectic six minutes. I was in awe of how many shots they got off. Just in general with the posing instructions, they were all on point. So I'm a little nervous. So we gonna see what I work with with the Godox 8200 Pro and the 34 inch beauty dish. Uh, we might migrate a little bit. So stay tuned here. Let's check this out. Three, two, one. Alrighty, so let's we'll start. Okay, you are on, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. So I'm a chief because I heard uh, you have pockets on your wrist. So I want you to turn sideways here. Okay, uh, I want you to kind of like kick up one of your back legs here. Yes. Okay. One, two. Okay, when you turn the power down, it's way too high. You have too much natural light up here today. All right. One, two. Strobe lights are a lot larger than speed lights, meaning you aren't going to mount them on your camera. This off-camera flash method is usually controlled by some sort of trigger that you place on your hot shoe slot and then pair the settings. Like all my other videos, I use the Godox 8200 Pro and it's controlled by the Godox X2T trigger transmitter. You can control the strobe's intensity by adjusting the settings on your trigger or use a light modifier like the 34 inch beauty dish I have attached to my strobe. Do me a favor of that and it's like right here. That's great.